Hello and welcome to my shed. So today I'm going to be making a budget boom pole. So as uh, a lot of you already know, I am shooting a short film this summer and I am doing my best to keep the cost as low as possible because I don't have much of a budget for the film. So one of the ways that I am cutting costs is I am making as many things as I can myself so I am going to manufacture a boom pole and what I'm going to use for the boom pole is I got some electrical conduit at my local hardware store I already had this bolt in my shed and if not you can pick one of these up for probably a dollar or so and it's going to just fit right here in the microphone and so what I'm going to do is I am going to weld I'm going to weld the microphone or weld this nut onto the conduit and then I'm going to cut the conduit down to size and wrap something around it so it, uh, it makes it easier to hold it and then I got this extension cable for the microphone so that I plug it in here now this is not the microphone I'm going to be using for the movie the one I'm going to be using for the movie is actually the one that's on the camera now which is the Rode what is it the Rode NTG uh, video mic so yes so that's the one I'm going to be using for that, but it has the same base, so I'm using this one as a test. So we're going to get started. That idea isn't quite going to work because it is going to put the mic at the wrong angle. I actually want the mic something like this. And so what I think I'm going to do is I've got another bolt. I'm going to cut this off right here. And then I'm going to cut this bracket here, weld a part of it here, and then weld this part onto uh, the bolt wherever I put it and then and then it's gonna have a pivot and then that way I can adjust the mic however I want it but luckily this is this conduit is plenty long enough so and I got plenty of bolts so I guess I can make this work Well, it may not be pretty, yeah. but I can adjust it so I can, so I can, you put this on and you tighten up this nut and then with this wing nut here, I can loosen it and move the microphone wherever I want it. So I'm, at some point I'm going to paint this so in case the shine from it reflects on the actors because that's not going to be very good and then I'm going to put some kind of foam or something on the handle so it's easier to hold and then I've just got to run my cord through this hole <laughs> yeah so I haven't decided if that boom pole is too long or not actually I think it's better to keep it long because that way I can keep the uh, sound person well out of the frame so just have to do some practice once I figure out who's gonna do the sound. So when you're making a low budget indie movie you pretty much got to use what you've got and so I'm actually going to be filming two different scenes of my movie in my shed here but I'm obviously gonna have to take all my tools and everything off the off the wall and you know so you can't tell 
but yeah, that, that's kind of my plan right now. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But I decided that today's the next day, by the way. That's why I'm dressed different. But I decided that I needed to finish up this boom pole so you can see the finished product. So I'm going to cut some foam and wrap it around the handle. And then and I'll probably paint it later, but I don't have any paint to paint it with right now. Well, it's not very pretty, but it'll get the job done. And it cost me probably just over $10. So yeah, it's not very, it's not that expensive. And uh, yeah, I know I understand not everybody has access to a welder, but I mean, there's ways you can do it without it, I suppose. Anyhow, uh, if you're interested in do it yourself type stuff, uh, and you want, are interested in the other props and stuff I'm going to be making for the movie, stay tuned and I will show you how I'm doing that as I do it. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps a lot and helps people find the channel. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video. Thanks and I'll catch you in the next video.